Hey, Sagittarius. Welcome back. I'm Divinely Dustin. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a general collective message read for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you know I love you. This is going to be your message for today. I pray that it resonates. If you're new to the channel, if you are new to my channel, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. I love you guys so much. Sagittarius, you know we work cohesively together. So I respect you. You respect me. We make this thing work. I love you guys. I pray that you guys have an awesome rest of the week. Okay, overall energy, though, in the pre-shuffle, I'm picking up on some energies of quite possibly you're getting some bad. Some of you Sagittarius is, are, have gotten some bad spiritual advice or someone you're getting spiritual advice from is not so honest or the information that they're giving you is not genuine Sagittarius. So be careful who you get information from. Okay, I'm hearing tarot readings, you know, sermons that you hear on TV, people that you entrust with your spiritual you know, self, okay, people that you entrust to help you grow spiritually. There may be some people that may be manipulating you and deceiving you. So be, okay, be careful, I'm hearing. Be wise. You see this owl? The owl represents wisdom, okay? He represents wisdom. Be as wise as that beautiful owl. You may also be seeing owls this weekend. I'm hearing this weekend. Some of you guys may start to see them in your dreams. Some of you guys may actually literally see owls, okay? You may have piercing striking eyes that are very intense so i'm hearing most certainly you guys uh some of you sagittarius have scorpio on the mid haven some of you have scorpio mars scorpio scorpio jupiter in the sixth house okay sagittarius i love you archangel michael what's going on with sagittarius what's going on with the sign of sagittarius wow yeah, you may have you may have recently gotten some advice from someone and spirit is saying be careful who you get advice from on any level, but particularly when it comes to spiritual matters. We got the six of cups over our energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You may have these things in your chart, Sagittarius. Okay, someone you're connected to. They may have these things in their chart. We got the high priestess, the high priest, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay, Archangel Michael, can I get some more messages? Wow, we got Gemini energy, the lovers. We got Gemini energy with the lovers. Someone from your past, I know I have people leave me comments all the time. Oh, I don't want to hear about nobody from my past. Well, honey, if this is not your story, it's not your story. But the energy is the energy. The cards come out how they come out. Clearly, someone from your past is missing you. Okay, they may not even be telling you that. You may not even be aware of that, okay? Ooh, we got the Nine of Cups. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yes, this person has a lot of water in their chart. They are very emotional over you. If this is not about the ex from the past missing you, Sagittarius, there's a connection that you have with someone, possibly a Gemini, okay? This person may secretly want to have children with you or be in a long-term stable connection with you. This is their hope. This is their wish. If this is not about somebody wanting to be in this long-term stable connection with you, Sagittarius, this is you. You're wishing and hoping for some sort of long-term stability and commitment. Okay. What's the Six of Cups? What's the Six of Cups? Archangel Michael. Six of Cups. Four of Wands. Long-term stability and commitment. Okay. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. You may have married someone that you had a child with. Okay. You guys are going strong. You guys are doing awesome. Okay, there's someone from your past, possibly someone you have a child with. They may want to marry you. The indication is here that they do. They want long-term stable connection. They want a long-term stable connection with you. They want a long-term commitment with you. This is someone you may not currently be dating. If this is not once, once again, I have to reiterate things and I have to explain it so you guys can understand because some people continuously leave messages. Okay, if it's not for you, it's not for you. If this is not about someone you have a child with wanting to come back and marry you or be in a long-term or being a long-term stable connection with you, Sagittarius, this could be your energy. You're longing and hoping and praying for commitment, a marriage. Okay. You may be praying for a new home. You may be praying to relocate. You may be praying to move in with someone that you care about. You may be praying for guidance on what to do with a relationship that you have recently gotten into. Or you may be praying for guidance on some sort of connection that you're currently in. You you want to take it to the next level, but you need guidance from God, okay? 
What's the high priestess? What is the high priestess? This person may be a Taurus, okay? For some of you, it's an ex that wants to come back and be serious and committed to you. For some of this, for some of you Sagittarius, it's, it's you. You want commitment. You want to be married. You want to be stable. You want to take your relationship with someone to the next level. If you're single, you may be praying to God to bring you somebody that you could be serious, stable, you know, someone you can have long-term stable commitment with. If this is not you, Sagittarius, someone is wishing and uh, secretly desiring to marry you and be with you, okay? We got the two of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy. Someone is making plans to be with you. If this is not that, you're making plans to be with someone, okay? Wow. <clears throat> Excuse me, Sagittarius. I'm hearing you make them happy. You're someone wishes... You're someone's wish fulfillment, okay? We got the Eight of Swords. We got the Eight of Swords. This is air energy. We got fire energy. We got water energy. I haven't seen much earth or any earth energy here. So this is all about passion, you know, drive, mental, mental stimulation and physical movement, physical action, and a lot of passion here. Someone has a lot of passion for you, a lot of desire for you, Sagittarius. They're making plans to show you that they want to be with you for the long haul. Okay. Wow. We got the magician, Gemini energy. There's a lot of emphasis on Gemini. You may be connected to a Gemini Sagittarius. This Gemini seriously wants to take this thing to the next level with you. They may have gotten some bad spiritual advice. Okay. So, you know, they got off track by listening to the wrong people. Now it doesn't always have to be an ex, but there is certainly the energy of an ex from your past. Okay. If this is, if this is not about an ex, this is someone from your past that wants commitment. Okay. Point blank period. This doesn't necessarily mean it was somebody you used to date or be married to. This could be a friend or someone you knew. Okay. You forgot about them. Okay. But someone clearly hasn't forgot about you. And once again, they want commitment, long-term stable commitment. Two of cups. Yeah. Someone has a lot of love for you, Sagittarius. They got a lot of love. I'm hearing, I got a thing for you by Trina. Okay. They got a thing for you, Sagittarius. This person has a lot of water in their chart. Okay, we got Ten of Cups. Yes, the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. They want long-term, stable commitment. They want to live in a nice, clean, decent home. Okay, peaceful home, I'm hearing. They want their home to be nice, clean, decent, affordable. Okay, peaceful. They want, they want, they want a peaceful vibe throughout their house. And they want a cohesive relationship with you where you guys can live together peacefully and in harmony. No, every day is not going to be perfect. There's going to be days where you want to go to... There's going to be days when you're going to want to strangle, <laughs> strangle each other, okay? There's going to be days where you're just not going to like the person, okay? Relationships are about give and take, up, ups and downs, okay? Every, every day is not going to be roses, okay? There's going to be some things you're going to have to work through with this individual. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is not someone like an ex. I feel like this is someone that you've probably known in your past. You guys are going to re reconnect, okay? And for some of you guys, this is... This is just simply you, Sagittarius. You're praying to God for strength and guidance and direction. And you're also praying. You're also praying to God to bless you with someone that you can be with for the long haul. Some of you guys are praying for guidance and strength to help you get over a relationship with someone from your past. You're praying for strength and guidance to finally be free from a, a toxic cycle with someone. I'm hearing a narcissist. Yes, you're praying. Wow, look. Huh. We got the big daddy, big daddy on the board, the emperor. This could be an Aries that's stuck on you, okay? You may also have your choice between an Aries and a Gemini, and you may be stuck between two people, and you don't know which one to choose. Always tell people, follow your heart, honey, follow your heart, and be safe, okay? I'm hearing don't be deceivous, don't be mischievous, and don't be deceitful, and don't be scandalous, Sagittarius, okay? Make a decision and stick with it. I feel like someone may be, someone be, someone may be trying to make a decision between you and someone else, or someone feels bad that they made the wrong decision between you and someone else. Now they're in regret because they realized that it was you the whole time. Okay, Whew. they realize it's you the whole time. Now they got to carry the weight of this regret. Okay, this person got a lot of regret because they feel bad. They made the wrong decisions. Now they want Sagittarius because. They have, I'm here and I can see clearly now the rain is gone, but watch your Sagittarius take you back. Okay. This is what I hear. Watch your Sagittarius take you back. 
You had the full love and confidence and care of Sagittarius, but you chose another route. Sometimes you got to live with the consequences, okay? These are the choices that this person made. Now they got to live with that, Sagittarius. For some of you guys, continue to pray. Continue to pray. God will bless you with someone. He will in due time, and, okay? I'm here and expect the unexpected here. Expect the unexpected. I feel like you're going to be connected to someone. And you guys, this body weight is going to be about the same here. Okay, this person is going to work his or her ass off to show you that they're serious about the relationship that they have with you. Okay, Sagittarius, continue to pray. God will bless you. Some people, some people are praying for you, Sagittarius. Some people are praying to God that they can get you. Somebody wants a second chance. I'm telling you, there's this, this is, this is heavy, heavy inter, I'm hearing heavy interference, but this is a heavy indication of somebody from your past. This is the ex. Y'all don't want to hear about exes, but the exes come up in the readings, okay? Someone from your past wants another chance. Some of you guys are praying to God to send you a husband, a wife. Some of you guys are asking God to give you direction and guidance and heal your heart from a broken relationship with someone that was toxic. Some people are, you know, some, some people, some men and some women are praying to God to get you, Sagittarius, to marry you. Some people are in energy. Some of you guys' as exes or people that you used to mess with or date or know are in the energy of regret because they chose someone else over you. They chose someone else. I'm hearing they made the wrong choice. Farewells. Yes, yeah, somebody you said goodbye to wants a second chance. I don't make it up, okay? They want a second chance. So whether you want to hear it or not, the ex wants another chance, okay? It's going to be up to you to use your discretion. Yes, we got new beginnings. Some of you guys, there are some people that want, this, these exes want fresh new starts with you. But Sagittarius is like, I'm already on a new venture. I'm going down a different path. I'm not going back to the ex, but the ex wants you back. So I'm here to tell you the reading, okay? Now, for some of you, once again, this is somebody completely new because we got new beginnings here. Some of you guys are going to meet somebody completely new, okay? You and someone just simply drifted apart or you, or you and someone else is currently drifting apart. You and someone also are um, are mirroring, mirroring each other at this time. You you and someone else is mirroring and sharing the same feelings. So you have a mutual attraction to someone. I just saw the number one two 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 two. Please go look it up. Okay. Wow. Elusive. Elusive. Yeah, you may have been dating someone and they were they were trickery. They were they were dishonest. Okay. Yep. Yeah, consequences. Yeah, someone is feeling the consequences now. They didn't treat you right. They chose others. They cheated. They manipulated. They deceived you. Now they're facing the consequences of their actions. Sagittarius is established. And someone wants to establish a home with you. Someone wants children with you. Someone wants to live with you, Sagittarius. Someone wants long-term with you. Choose wisely. I love you. Have a great day.